Now, it's my great pleasure to introduce today's special guest speaker. Charles Ledbetter is a leading authority on innovation and creativity and an advisor to governments, cities, organisations throughout the world. He joins us today to share some of his thinking from his new book, The Frugal Innovator. There is a very interesting thing going on in education, which I'll come into in a moment, with Code Club and Apps for Good and things like that. But we could, in this country, create a entirely complementary, voluntary-based coding education system entirely based around clubs and volunteers, but the issue will be quality. Um, so you're absolutely right to, to, to um, talk about that. We do have um, time for another set of questions before we wrap up. Uh, start with the gentleman over there, then over to you. Uh, Nick Corston from Steamco. Um, we've got Tristan Hunt in on Thursday and a brand new education secretary in, Sa in Nicky Morgan. So I just wondered what advice um, you might have for the education system and how we might encourage a spirit and a culture of creativity for this fugal future that we all face. Um, I th I'm writing something about this at the moment and um, I just, I mean, this stupid things, but... I mean, education should be uh, an education in how to live in this kind of world. And so it should be an education in how you work within constraints to find questions that you don't know the answer to, and there will be many more than one answer to, in collaboration with other people, and how you learn to make things together. And you produce things, and you do it in the real world as much as the classroom. And um, that's what education should be. And it, should, of course, should also be about learning English and maths and, you know, and doing it through geography and history and so on and so forth. Of course, it should be that, and you need sort of some element of structure and so on and so forth. But actually, we need to educate entire generations of people to go and look for problems and opportunities and collaborate to solve them. That's what it should be core about, I think. And the trouble is that... We don't have any political leadership which is willing to speak that truth because they want to speak a language of safety, caution, and, and a sort of education as a sort of 16-year apprenticeship in diligently coming up with the right answer at the right time. How is that going to help? How is that going to help them in this world? There's no right answer. There are new problems the whole time. You have to find new collaborators. You have to think in fresh ways. You have to make and fail and try again. That's that world. That's the world they're already in. And yet we create an education system which is like sort of, you know, if you judge the education system by whether it did any harm, then we'd be really failing, it seems to me. So, you know, it really, really, really frustrates me. Wow. Well. On that note, sadly we've run out of time. <laughs> um, so thanks again for the fantastic set of questions and a, a reminder that the book is on sale outside and I'm sure you're going to be there to sign. I would highly recommend it. There's some brilliant case studies in there and as I said, the 10 rules at the back are fantastic um, sort of steps for us to move towards something which is about frugal innovation. And um, finally, do join me in thanking Charlie Ledbetter for your time.